Okay, in this question, they are asking us for the electrical energy transformed at the greatest rate. So the rate of uh, electrical energy transform is actually power. And power can be calculated by V square over R. And we can see that the voltage supply for all four options, they are the same. So the only factor that is affecting power will be resistance. In order for us to get the maximum power, based on the formula, we should find out which circuit has the minimum resistance. Okay, so what we can do right is to let each resistor be 1 ohm. Okay, so option A has two 1 ohm resistor in series, so that will be 2 ohm. And option B has three 1 ohm resistor in series, that will give us 3 ohm. Option C has two 1 ohm resistor in parallel, so we have to use the formula. 1 over R is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1. So 1 over R is equal to 2. R is equal to 1 over 2. That will give us 0.5 ohm. And option D has got 3 1 ohm resistor in parallel. So 1 over R is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1. So 1 over R is equal to 3. So R is equal to 1 over 3. That will give us 0 0.33 ohm. So we see that option D has the circuit with the lowest resistance. So option D must be the circuit where the electrical energy is being transformed at the greatest rate. Okay, in this question, we are supposed to show the magnetic field pattern due to the currents of two wires that are entering into the plane of the paper. So using the right hand grip rule, the thumb will indicate the current direction so it goes into the goes into the paper and the finger will show the a uh, magnetic field is going in a clockwise direction. So with this, we look at uh, look at the options. Only option B shows that uh, both wire because they are they have current going into the plane of the paper. They have the clockwise magnetic field. So the answer should be B. Okay, as the magnet is falling towards the coin. The coil will experience a rate of change of magnetic line of force linking the circuit. Hence, a current and EMF will be induced in the circuit to oppose the drop. So to oppose the drop, the current must flow in a direction such that uh, it creates a north pole at the top and a south pole at the bottom. And this is brought about by a current that, uh, that caused the emitter to deflect to the right. Okay, as the magnet falls through the coin, the coin will still experience a rate of change of magnetic line of force linking the circuit, and hence an EMF and current will still be induced to oppose the change, which is the dropping of the magnet. So there'll be a north pole uh, induced on the bottom and a south pole induced at the top. So since now the, the poles are reversed, we expect the current to be in the opposite direction. So it will cause the emitter to deflect to the left. Okay, so since this is a momentary action, we only ex expect the emitter to deflect quickly to, to one direction and then it will go back to its uh, zero position. So the answer should be C where it moves quickly to the left of zero and then returns to zero. Okay, the answer to this question is very straightforward. If you have studied the chapter on AC generator, you should know that X is the slip ring commutator. So it's D. Okay, from the information given in this question, uh, we can first find Vs, which is the voltage across the secondary coil. So using the formula MP over Vp is equal to Ns over Vs. Fill in the blank, we have 200 over 
240 is equal to 50 over Vs. So Vs is equal to 240 times 50 divided by 200. This will give us 60 volt. And we can find the current uh, in the secondary coil. Is will be equal to Vs divided by the resistance. This will give us 60 divided by 20. This is 3 ampere. Okay, for a transformer, the power in the primary coil is equal to the power in the secondary coil. So, Vp, Ip is equal to Vs, I, S. So, let's fill in the blank. 240 multiplied by Ip is equal to uh, Vs is 60, Is is 3. So, Ip is equal to 60 times 3 divided by 240. This will give us 0 0.75 ampere. So, the answer is A.